What's up, y'all? It's Marlon, man. What's going on, bro? Hey, uh, so <clears throat> I'm looking at the um Regis Progress versus Josh Taylor uh press conference, right, y'all? And uh, all I see is Derek Chisora straight snapping on Eddie Hearn and shit, man. So I, I feel multiple ways about this situation. It's like I feel like I feel on both sides. Because on one hand, man, I hate that crybaby bullshit. All that pussy ass shit. So I feel like if you, if you don't, if you don't like, if you don't, <laughs> I can't even think. If, if, if you don't like, if you don't like what the fuck going on, then why y'all keep running to Eddie Hearn? That's my problem right there, bro. So what I'm saying is, I hate when dudes who get put in, who get in a situation, you feel me, and, and bitch and cry about the shit, you feel me, my thing is, if you don't like how Eddie Hearn treat you, or you don't like how he promoting you, or you don't like how he fucking you over, then get the fuck out the contract, straight up, get the fuck out the contract, you seen Regis program, what Regis did, you feel me, we almost didn't have this unification fight, uh, we almost ain't had this shit, we almost, Regis pulled out and was finna sue him. If they ain't get his money right, if they ain't get his whole little situation right, he was gonna sue him. That's what you call a motherfucker who doing something about the problem. You know, instead of crying and shit. You feel me? You're bitching and complaining. But on, on another hand, that's why I say I feel multiple ways about this situation, bro. Like, I feel like that. I feel like, fuck all that crybaby shit and all that pussy ass shit. Nigga, do something. And then on another hand, I feel like I understand where Derek Chisora is coming from because, don't get me wrong, I, I, I feel where he's coming from. But at the same time, you know who the fuck you signed to. You know what kind of situation you in. And, and I feel him. His UK fans, I understand all that shit. His UK fans, you feel me, belong to him. And ain't neither one of them motherfuckers from the UK. And Eddie Hearn is basically... Taking these two dudes, American dude from New Orleans, and uh, and, uh, and Josh Taylor from uh S Swedish, I forgot where he's from, but he ain't from the UK, and he taking these two dudes and putting them on the UK card after having him on taking from his fan base. I understand that shit, but at the same time, it's like, bro, get the fuck off the card, then. Like you said, pay him. He walked up. It, it was some G shit. I understand, but. But, like I said, stand on your word. I don't want to hear no nothing up. No nothing up. Stand on your stand on your ten toes. Stay on what you saying. If he don't pay you or he don't, or he don't put you as the main event, then don't fight, bro. You need to be like that one fighter I seen. I forgot his name. He walked straight out the ring, bro. They said ding, ding. The, the thing said ding, ding. He walked, off the, he walked right out the ring and walked his ass up out the arena. That's what I want to. That's what I want to see happen. If if he don't get what he said, he won't stand on your shit. No crybaby pussy shit. You know what I'm saying? Do what you said you gonna do. And then I feel like he he disrespected Regis and oh, Josh Taylor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it in a second. I see. I understand about Regis and uh. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. He, he disrespected Regis and Josh Taylor, but at the same time, man, this dude was like 250, 60. You know what I'm saying? When he said that shit, and Regis just said, Regis was like, uh, what'd he say? Regis like, we number one, we number two. You feel me? And Regis had a point. They number one, and they number two, and your ass lost. You been losing, and you losing, and you losing, and you losing, and, and motherfucker. You ain't the best at your division, and so I mean, motherfucker, don't respect you. you, you I mean, Eddie, Eddie Hearn, I respect, I respect all fighters since you get in the ring, but Eddie Hearn obviously don't respect you. You feel me? You you gotta make your, so you gotta put in that work. That's like an NFL player. If you ain't, it's like the Kaepernick situation. If Kaepernick was Russell Wilson or some shit, you think they was gonna ban Russell Wilson? Fuck no. Nah. He a top motherfucking black quarterback. Who, who can run and he can throw and all this shit. Dang, you see, if you got to be that type of athlete for you to be, for you to hold down that shit you talking. Or a motherfucker ain't going to respect you. In Eddie Hearn case. 
So, see, Regis, another thing, Regis knew when to, when to quit talking. <laughs> Come on, man, he knew when to quit talking. This big ass dude looking like a big ass gorilla on, on the stage, on the podium and shit, man. He knew not to keep talking because cause dudes at that level ain't got nothing to lose. And he liable to get up and just debo your ass, punch you in your shit. You feel me? Right on the stage. And you can't tell me shit. See, Regis probably 150-something right now. Or Regis wasn't going to be able to do nothing. 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 <laughs> it's nothing Regis or Josh Taylor and Regis could have banded together in Eddie Hearn. All the motherfuckers could have banded together and tried to jump Derek Chisora, and he was still going to whoop their ass. I guarantee you, dog. But... Like I said, he knew when to shut up. Everybody knew not to go back and forth with him. Let this man talk his shit, man. And get on up out of there. But yeah, like I said, yeah, I had multiple feelings about this shit. That's why I wanted to explain. I felt like I feel Derek Chisora. You feel me? A motherfucker extorting him. But he going to have to stand on what he talking about. And then I feel Regis because he never wanted them to this motherfucker keep losing. See, Regis and, and to Josh Taylor, I just wish they were somewhere else anyways, man. I, I swear I do. I wish... I don't, the whole situation just fucked up. They just need to get the fuck away from Eddie Hearn, man. The whole situation all screwed up, bro. But it is what it is. They offering the bag. So Josh Taylor and Regis took going for the bag, I understand. And um Dirt Chisora need to need to be finding his way out. Come on man. Come up with the escape plan. Come up with an escape plan. Get the fuck out the situation. Feel me? Don't cry about it. Be about it. But that's that, y'all. I'm out, man. I just want to give y'all my take on that situation. And I'll be back with some more videos today. I'm out. Peace.